Okay then, in this video we need to create a shape to use for uh, the, the fuselage, fuselage, I don't know how you say that, let's just call it the body of the plane. Right, um, so usually with box modeling you'd use um, a polygon cube because that's a box. Um, we're not going to use that for this one because we'll always be fighting against the boxiness of the shape, we'll have to always be trying to round that off, whereas this is already quite a round shape so we're going to use a cylinder so I'm just going to make my perspective view, metaview view and just create a cylinder the size and shape at this stage aren't important because that's what we're going to work on next so there's my cylinder what I'm now going to do is using all of my three orthographic views I'm going to try and make it roughly the same size, shape and position uh, as these images so I'm going to start with uh, rotating it would be it would be a good idea. So I'm going to go to my channel box and I'm just going to start rotating. And I can see when I free rotate that it's my x-axis that is moving. So I know to type 90 in that box. So now it's facing the right direction. So now I can work in this view. So first thing I can see is I need to move it over here to get it sort of on that center line as close as I can to it. Uh, it's too fat at the moment. It's nowhere near long enough. So let's get that about right. I'm just going to have to reposition that a little bit. In fact, what I am going to do is I'm going to model the propeller as a separate shape. So I'm just going to leave that bit off. So in that view, that is now about right. That's fine. That's beautiful. Okay, so that's it done in that view. But then I can see these two views. Yeah, it's not working. So I can see that that needs bringing into here. I think it still needs to go over to the right a little bit. Um, and I'm going to try and aim just to get that in there. I'm, I am going to scale it in a little bit more because I'm still not happy with the the shape there and I'm going to just make it a bit smaller because this, this intake is not really part of the shape I'll leave the cockpit as, as though it is although I might treat that differently later and just check the side uh, close enough I think I'll just add a little bit more in terms of the scale I think just to get that there now there are some discrepancies between these images, that's because they're not all spot on. Um, wherever I downloaded these from, they're not exact, so there'll be a little bit of creativeness needed. Um, but that's it, that's what we need to do in this video, create that, that is the same size and shape as our airplane, and we're going to manipulate um, the values of this in the next video, so that that is um, going to be able to turn into the body of the plane.